السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear Grade 5 Students Hello again I am Ahmed Al-Farahati and I wish you all the best of everything Today inshallah we will study Unit 5 Technology Lesson 2 Please open your skills book to page 42 This page what are the aims of this lesson? Let's check. Unit 5 Technology Lesson 2 Skills Book Pages 42 and 43 Activities 1, 2, 3 and 4 The Aims In this lesson students will Read about the history of computers Use pictures and subheadings to find the specific information in a reading text. Do activities related to a reading text. Match pictures and vocabulary. Let's go to page 42 of your skills book. Unit 5 Technology Reading and Understanding Section Activity 1 Read Think and find. Yes, we have to put a comma here. Read the text below. As you read, think about these questions and find the answers. 1. What are computers used for? 2. What are the differences between early and modern computers? You are asked to read this text and as you read, Think about these two questions and try to find the answers. The history of computers. Computers are everywhere in our daily lives. They are on our desks, on our labs, in our cars, and in our phones. A smartphone is really just a tiny kind of computer. What computers can do? Computers can store information, do maths, play films and music, and send emails. You can play games on them too. Early computers. Early computers were huge. They were the size of a large room. They were also very expensive and needed a lot of electricity. This is a picture of an early computer. Early computers could do only one simple thing. Then in the 1930s, a man called Alan Turing had an idea. People sometimes called Alan Turing the father of computer science. His idea was to program a computer so that it could do lots of different things. The microchip. In 1958, Jack Kelby invented the microchip. Microchips are like tiny plates which can store lots of information. After the microchip was put into the computers, they became much smaller. Computers at home. By the 1970s, computers became cheaper, so ordinary people could afford to buy them. In the 1980s, computer games started to become popular. Lots of people bought computers just because they wanted to play computer games. The World Wide Web In 1989, Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web, a way of organizing information on the internet through websites. So people could use their computers to look for and share information. Now you are asked to find the answers to these questions. 1. What are computers used for? You can find the answer here in this section. What computers can do? Computers can store information, do maths, play films and music, and send emails. You can play games on them too. This is the answer. You can write it here. 2. What are the differences between early and modern computers? Early computers means old computers. And you can find the answer in this section. Early computers were huge. They were the size of a large room. 
they were also very expensive and they needed a lot of electricity this is the answer and also you can add that early computers didn't have a mouse they had only a keyboard also if you made a mistake you could not delete it so these are the differences between early and modern computers you can write the answer here thank you dear students now let me ask you about something what is the internet yes the internet is a massive network of networks it connects millions of computers together forming a network in which any computer can communicate with another computer as long as they are both connected to it this is the internet and the world wide web that Tim Berners Lee invented is an information system on the internet which allows documents to be connected to other documents by hypertext links so the user can search for information by moving from one document to another yeah this is the world wide web and we said that it is an information system on the internet let's go to activity 2 on page 43 read and circle for each item choose the best option circle the letter next to it one early computers were tiny very large not expensive two alan turing's idea was about a game the microchip programming three the microchip was invented by alan turing jack kelby tim berners lee 4. People could buy computers in the 1930s, 1970s, 1980s. 5. Computer games became very popular, useful, cheap. 6. Tim Berners Lee invented the computer, internet, world wide web. You are asked to choose the best option for each item. Take your time to do the task. Then come back to check your answers. Hello again. I'll choose the best option in order to check your answers. Early computers were very large. Alan Turing's idea was about, yes, programming. Because his idea was to program a computer so that it could do lots of different things. And he is called the father of computer science. The microchip was invented by, yes, Jack Kelby. People could buy computers in the 1970s. Computer games became very popular. Yes, excellent. Tim Berners Lee invented the World Wide Web. Thank you. Activity 3. Read and match match each of the sentence halves on the left with one on the right a smartphone is early computers were the father of computer science was people started to like computer games a microchip can store the world wide web is different from yes as big as a room in the 1980s a lot of information the internet, a land turning, a very small computer. Now you are asked to match each of these sentence halves together. Take your time to do the task, then come back to check your answers. Hello again. A smartphone is, yes, F, a very small computer. Early computers were as big as a room a the father of computer science was Alan Turing e people started to like computer games in the 1980s b a microchip can store a lot of information c the world wide web is different from the internet D. 
It's an information system on the internet. Working with words. Activity 4. Look and match. Match the name of each item in the box with the correct picture. Write the name under the picture. Note, there is one extra word. Smartphone, keyboard, laptop, computer game, calculator, mouse, email, desktop computer, printer. Take your time to write the name of each item under its picture. Then come back to check your answers. Hello again. I'll write the name of each item in order to check your answers. A. This is the printer. B. Mouse. C. Smartphone. D. Calculator. E. Keyboard. F. Laptop. G. Desktop computer. And H is a computer game. Computer. Game. Thank you. By this we've achieved the aims of this lesson. Thank you for following me. Goodbye.